can seem like a hard task sometimes. Maybe we wonder if our prayers are good enough, or maybe we just feel like we don't even know what to say. Well, here's the good news. Prayer is not as hard as it seems. It's a great way for us to be connected with God. In fact, we will be going over some easy ways that we can pray in this video. So stay tuned, but first, stand up, let's worship together. Oh, happy day, happy day, you wash my sin away. Oh, happy day, happy day, I'll never be the same. The greatest day in history, death is beaten, you have rescued me. Sing it out, Jesus is alive. The empty cross, the empty grave, life eternal, you have won the day. Shout it out, Jesus is alive. It is game time, and today we are playing Four Corners. It's a simple game where you have to pick one of the four corners each round. Once when you have it picked, shout out your answer and I will shout out in a corner as well. If you call out the one that I picked, you are out. We will also be joining you each round and showing our own picks. Our four corners are P, R, A, and Y. See who in your family lasts the longest. All right, our first corner is P. P as in prayer. If you pick corner P, you are out.
All right, our next corner is corner A, as in anyone can pray. If you pick corner A, you are out. Our corner for round number four is P, as in please pray. If you picked P again, you are out. Round number five, our corner is R, as in, are you praying right now? If you picked R, you are out. All right, final round. The corner is A, as in, you should always be praying. If you picked corner A, you are out. All right, thanks for playing everyone. We hope you had fun and we will see you next week when we play another fun game together. P-R-A-Y, that spells pray. And you may have caught on that we are in a brand new series titled Pray First, Not Last. It's all about praying. In our story today, we will be learning about how we are to be connected to God, like how a grape is connected to a vine. That's why our big idea is, prayer keeps me connected with God. Through prayer, we can continue to deepen our relationship with God. In fact, all of this is going to be what our story today talks about. Do you want to hear more on what it means to be connected to God? Well, pay close attention. See if you can figure out what Jesus means when he calls himself the vine. Jesus said, I am the vine and you, the people, are the branches. Branch? I'm not a branch. I don't mean like a tree branch. I don't get it. The vine and branches were used by Jesus as an example. It means you are a child of the king. That's Jesus. Really? That's awesome. Does that mean I get to wear a crown? It gets even better than that. Not only are we children of the King, but when we look like Jesus, we will have fruit that sets us apart. Oh yeah, I remember. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those fruits come from being connected to Jesus, right? Yes, that's exactly right. And Jesus even says that those who remain connected to him will produce fruit. But apart from him, you can do nothing. Kind of like when a light isn't plugged into a wall? Exactly like that. Just like a light cannot function without being plugged in, we cannot function without being connected to Jesus. Jesus loves us so much that he wants to be close to us. Like really close. He wants to be our greatest friend. Really? So how do you get that close to Jesus? By following God's commands and doing things like praying and attending church, we can get close to Him, and in return, He will get even closer to us. Jesus said that in doing this, we become like the disciples. They were really close to Jesus, like best friend close. And we can be too. We just have to stay connected to God all the time, not just in church. He is the vine, and we are the branches. And as long as we remain in Him, we will grow much fruit. Jesus used the idea of vines, branches, and fruit for his followers to understand a very important truth. Jesus was asking his followers to stay connected to him. Just like how grapes need to be connected to a vine to grow, true faith will only grow when we are connected and close with Jesus. Lamps need power. They need to be connected to something. If it isn't, well, it won't work. Like this lamp, we are called to be connected to Jesus. When we are, we can produce the light of Christ. So here's the question, how can we stay connected with Jesus? Well, through prayer. Many of you know that prayer is talking to God, but you may not know that there are different kinds of prayers that we should pray. Don't worry, I have a great way for us to remember them. It's through the word pray. P stands for praise. When we praise God in prayer, we are telling Him what we love about Him. 
This includes lifting up God for being good, just, holy, and so much more. R stands for repent. To repent means we tell God the sins we have done and ask Him to cleanse and forgive us. We have all sinned, but we have a God who wants us to come to Him with it. A stands for ask. This is the prayer many of us know. We pray this prayer when we need God's help or wisdom. Lastly, Y. Y stands for yes. This prayer is when we celebrate all the good things God has done. Apart from Jesus, we can't have life in God. But here's the good news. God has given us a great gift. It's called prayer. Through prayer, we can be close to Jesus every day. Go ahead and close your time by reading scripture and praying. Why don't you read through our story found in John chapter 15, verses one through 17. Then why don't you exercise one of the four prayers that we just learned about. You can praise God, you can repent to God, you can ask God, or you can even pray a prayer of yes. Thanks for watching everyone. Come back next week when we learn how in everything we do, we can give thanks.